everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome to our daily dose of success God's way. This is Erin Harrigan, your hustle with heart coach. I'm going to turn this so you guys can see me better and uh, helping entrepreneurs align results to God's truth. Let's just say helping everybody align results to God's truth in their businesses, whether their business is a corporate job or an entrepreneurial endeavor and helping everyone attain results for total health with Arbon. I'm coming to you today distracted and I think it is really important in today's world of seeing the highlight reels and not the bloopers in social media that the more, um, I, I feel like authentic is an overused word, but the more authentic we are, the more people can go, yes, I feel that way too. How can I break out of this? So I've been feeling really distracted this week. And I think that when we come to a crossroads, no, I wouldn't even say a crossroads. I think that when we make a decision to step all in to something, whatever that is, everything gets thrown at us at the same time. I used to say in my Arbon business to new consultants, now that you've decided to build an online health and wellness business, I promise you that everything is going to be coming at you at the same time. And it's sort of the universe uh, testing to see whether you're truly committed. And because God is the universe, he just is. And in my kingdom walk over the last five years, I have learned that when I make a decision to be all in for what God has called me to, that I can expect chaos to ensue. And I can expect that the enemy is going to try to distract me because you guys, that's exactly where the enemy wants us. He knows that if he can get us spinning like a toy top and we'll go off spinning, that he can leave us alone for a little while and go mess with somebody else. And when that happens to me, I truly say out loud, get behind me, Satan, just like Jesus did, um, really to, to, uh, to Peter, um, in the Garden of Gethsemane and and say, you know, you are not going to distract me because my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has already claimed victory for me. And and that immediately stops sort of the scramble and and the and the distraction that's going on in my mind for at least a minute so that I can refocus where I need to be focused. So I'm coming to this to you this morning really distracted. A few weeks ago made the decision that, you know, th in this time that God has really called me to focus on my book and to focus on the consulting business that he had given me, <clears throat> which has been such a gift to us uh, in our financial peace journey. And in doing so, he has asked me to let some things go. And you guys, sometimes God is asking us to let things go and he's peeling away these layers and it's painful. Because two reasons. One, we want to be in control and we know what we can be in control of or what we think we can be in control of. So we like God to fit into this little box or big box, but we want him to fit in the boundaries that we put around him to do things the way we want to do them and the things that we know to do. But number two, as he's peeling away those layers, we've got to remember that he made us. He knows every hair on our head. He predestined his purpose for us and the works that he wants us to do. So why on earth would we not trust that if he is calling us to let something go, that it is truly for our best, our best today, our best eternally, our best to make an impact in his kingdom. So this is your distracted friend saying, yes, I am the hustle with heart coach and I coach people through this. And I coach from my own experience. This is not an abstract model. This is not me kind of getting my certification and some coaching, but haven't really walked the walk. I'm walking this walk with you. I may be two steps ahead of you, but as I like to say to my friend, Jesse Kretzer, you know, Jesse is ahead of me in book publishing and I am ahead of her in podcasting. So together we can lift each other up and help each other through with the tips and the ideas, et cetera, using our hindsight to, uh, to be each other's foresight. But I think what it comes down to is letting God's insight 
overrule our eyesight, capital I, uh, in all that we do. And when we can remember that he is in charge and he has us cradled in his arms, that he is not going to let us fall and fail so painfully, uh, that we will have trials and tribulations. Jesus told us that, but that our victory is already claimed and our freedom is already there. So I hope you find this helpful this morning. I'm going to find, um, I know I've sort of talked through a couple of scripture verses. Ephesians 2.10 comes to mind. Uh, Philippians 1.6 comes to mind. I know I talked about those before, but um, really encourage you, if you're feeling this way, get on over to our Success God's Way community and share that with us so that we can, um, so that we can really pray over that with you. If you need support work, walking out this journey, I would love to talk to you about Hustle with Heart Coaching. And I just want to remind you, my new blog post um, dropped yesterday. It's a good one. It is all about us being the branch connected to the vine. Uh, and I would love, love, love if you would go um, to iTunes and listen to my podcast, leave me a review. I am working to get to 1,000 downloads by the end of this month. So share that with people that you think can benefit. Um, as God-centered entrepreneurs, we operate differently than the world. And so we have to be in this together. And I hope you found this helpful today, even though it was a little bit all over the place. All right, that's our daily dose. I'll see you guys tomorrow.